you can see, I am wearing this boring, plain grey shirt. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this shirt in different colors with Photoshop. So you can have a different kind of look for each of your thumbnails and you don't have to take like million pictures with a million different shirts. You can just use the same shirt and just take a video with many expressions and then just change the color of the shirt and it looks like you have a new shirt in every picture and also you can match them with the rest of your thumbnail so you're gonna get unique and beautiful looking thumbnails each time. Okay, so long time no see. I have been absent from YouTube because, well, as you can see, I am very pregnant and I haven't been feeling great because I just, I had the flu and I'm gonna adjust the lighting. Is it better? Doesn't make any difference. Okay, so I have had the flu and it's been a long two weeks with the holidays, so that's why I haven't posted here anything. But that's gonna change now. I'm gonna start posting frequently and hopefully you're gonna like it. And I'm gonna apologize beforehand because my Photoshop is in Finnish and it's gonna be hard to follow, but I'm gonna write every single step in English as well. So hopefully it makes it easier for you and you can learn something. And let's just make one thing straight. I am not a Photoshop Pro. I am learning while I'm doing and this is more like a beginner state of, of Photoshop so don't expect any miracles of, of this um, it's just something that I just learned and I'm super happy about it and it's gonna make my life hopefully yours too a lot easier regarding to making thumbnails and yeah let's just get to the Photoshop now okay so first you want to create a new document and you can uh, have the options here on the side. Just press OK and then track the chosen photo to Photoshop and release. Scale the photo if needed and press enter. If you want to change the background, you can, you can do so by uh, choosing the selection tool and then in the top panel you can choose that to select object and usually Photoshop does a pretty good job and gets the gets the thing that you want but sometimes you have, have to just tweak it a little bit and so this is why I speed this up because it's gonna take forever otherwise but I'm just tweaking it and trying to make it as precise as possible And then add vector mask so the background goes away as you can see here and if you want you can delete the background and just put another one you don't have to do that but you can and at this point I usually save the image as an GIF because I want to be able to use it later on and if something happens then I have this already there so it's not a big deal. So now it's saved. Just remember to name your projects so you can find them easily. I almost put the wrong one here, but yeah, it's GIF and then save and then it's saved. Okay, so Next, we are going to make a solid layer so we can do a background. Just press OK and there you go. You can choose the wanted color from the color map. I choose purple at this moment and I'm gonna then press OK and then I'm gonna move the layer under the main picture so 
So now I'm gonna adjust some uh, colors and brightness of the photo that I chose to use. So a little bit exposure. I'm just gonna tweak something here. It doesn't matter. Just as you are happy, then it's okay. But I just usually want it a little bit more to have more exposure and then also contrast. And also I am adjusting the sharpness and the noise reduction. And then colors make it more vibrant and Something like that. And then press OK. And ta-da! It looks a lot better, right? So, now the part that you have been waiting for. Let's change the color of my boring shirt. So, I am creating a new layer. I don't have to do that. And actually, I'm doing it in vain, but it's OK. Then I am selecting the wrong layer here, that's why it won't do anything. And then I notice it and just make sure to select the right layer. And there we go. It has pretty successfully chosen the shirt. There are some little flaws there, but I'm just gonna get rid of them. It's the same way as in before. Okay, that's good enough, I think. So, create a new group. There we go. And then, add mask. So, here we go. And then I'm gonna go create new fill or adjustment layer. And I will choose solid color or color, I don't know how it's in English. And then I'm gonna just like slide it until I find the color I really want. I want this green yellow. And then from the top drop down menu, I choose color. So it looks more natural and it's not like flat. There is shadows and everything. And actually that was pretty much it. There is some little adjust adjustments that you can do. I am doing a vignette to this background to make it a little bit more interesting and not as flat. If I can find it, yeah, here it is. There we go. It just looks nicer to my eyes this way. Ta-da! And then we are going to make an outer glow to to the main picture you don't have to do this if you don't want to but i just think it looks nicer that way and i'm just gonna tweak it a little bit make it a little less obvious and that's pretty much it actually the photo is starting to be ready and it's looking good to me and you can just double click there and then you can change the uh, shirt or the color of the shirt. Like this. And you can just choose whichever color you want. You can also adjust the brightness by tracking the mouse like that. So this is a super, super simple and easy to do and Beginners can do this as well. It's not hard at all. And I really hope this video was helpful for you. And if you have some comments in the, you can leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.